Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, this is Jason, and this is Sick Made Airbrushing. Hey, I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. So, I'm going to do a little quick voiceover, man. So, I'm prepping a license plate, and I put about three coats of um, purple on here, some deep purple. And I'm going to go ahead and freehand a airbrush image of Jack on this license plate. So, um, yeah, man, just stay with the process, guys. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. So, um, get any easier than this guys so if you could see it you could draw it so what you want to do guys is just basically whatever the outline is whatever the colors you're using in the image you know you want to just start out light so in this case guys you know I toned the white down soft spraying the and getting my reference up there you know so I'm just getting my reference up there I'm just getting all my soft points in there and when I'm ready, I'm going to lay down the hard points with my white, you know, and just have fun with it, man. You know, airbrushing, man, is, is, is fun, man. So, you know, have fun with, with freehanding and, and just go with it, you guys. You know what I'm saying? In my videos, you know, you guys don't have to. It just, it just does not have to look exactly like it, you guys. I mean, you can put your own little twist on it. I mean, the, the teeth don't got to be perfect. So... You know, the eyes don't got to be perfect. You know what I mean? So, like, just, just lay it down how you want to lay it down. And if it looks good to you, man, it looks good to you. You know what I'm saying? It's, and, and trust me, it's going to look 100 times better to the customer when when you're all said and done with this, man. So, stay confident when you're freehanding, guys. Just lay it down. Attack the image how you see it. And just go with the flow, man. Have fun doing this, guys. So... You know, airbrushing is, is, is fun, it's relaxing, it's, you, it puts you in a, in a zone where, <clears throat> in your happy zone, in your happy place, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't we all want to be in our happy place? Because this is my happy place, man. So, I hope it puts you guys in that place too, man. So, you know, I always push on freehand, guys, because I, I get a lot of satisfaction with freehanding. I love using stencils. I use cutouts and stuff like that, man. But when it comes down to just laying something down and, and not using any of that stuff, I get a lot. Of, I get a lot more satisfaction um, laying something down that I painted with my airbrush. You know what I'm saying? So it just and it, and it should to you guys too, man, because that's a, a big achievement if you haven't done it before. <clears throat> you know, when you're laying down designs and if it's just name designs, graffiti designs. And you're freehanding that stuff, man. So, you know, I I even just when I do name designs, man, like that, I feel a lot of satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm happy about what I've created. So that should that should make you guys feel good when you're when you get to that point too, man. So just don't stop doing it, guys. Just get out there and create and, and do what you gotta do, man. And like I said, um anyone could do it, guys. We just gotta put the work in, right? You gotta put the work in. If it's just drawing stuff on paper, if it's airbrushing, on just some palin boards, practicing, it doesn't matter, man. You can do it. So anyway, let's get back to it, man.
Okay, you guys. So at this point, so all I'm doing now is I got the I got the I got the the reference up there, right? So now I'm just starting to build the color up and build the you want. I'm trying to make this, you know, uh, a three dimensional image, right? So we want to put some shading in. We want to see some um, some bone structure and stuff like that. So and so basically, man, just just build it up. You know, um, this image is a white, he's white, so, you know, I'm going to darken him up a little bit with some shading and stuff like that, so, but right now I'm just building him up and getting to those points. And just remember, you guys, I told you guys, man, just don't ever think you can't fix a mistake, uh, especially on hard surfaces, guys. Hard surfaces is probably the easiest uh, repair. If you mess up on, on on any kind of hard surface like this, a helmet, a license plate, or even on a car, man, you know, all you got to do is spray over it. <laughs> all you got to do is spray over it with the same color, man, or even just hide it. You know what I'm saying? You can hide um, certain stuff um, real easy, man. So don't, don't ever think you can't fix something, man. I always say that, man, because you can fix it. Anyways, so yeah, putting some more highlights in here, building the structure up of his face, man. Um, pretty mean character or mean look, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, man. So just go with the flow, guys. Don't give up. And if you're if you're in the same process, man, check this image out, man. You know what I'm saying? Take a picture of it and 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 maybe draw it. Try to do it yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Get some practice in. So yeah, just keep keep going with the flow, guys, and and, and this is lay it in there, man. So I also want to talk about real quick, you know, on pricing, guys. You know what I'm saying? I, I I get into the I get into it a little bit, but you know, your time is money, right? So when you're freehanding, it takes a little bit more time, guys. You know what I'm saying? It does. It takes a little bit more time. It it probably take double the time of, of something that if i cut if i did some cutouts on 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 this image and, and did a stencil of his face which i'm sure there is stencils out there but if you made one your own you could get away with knocking this out with probably in 10 15 minutes you know what i'm saying <clears throat> this took me about i think it was probably about 20 25 minutes <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyways but regardless of of, of that situation if you cut a stencil out or you know like i said man, I'm, I'm here to push you guys on freehand and this is what this video is about <laughs> so you know it's gonna take a little more time guys so you you'll make your time make it worth it you know so whatever you charge on this on, on something like this or make sure you're you're doing i you guys, I, I'll be honest, man. I, I charge by the hour because that's just the bit. That's that's how I know I made my money, right? So, charge by the hour. There's different. I'll, I'll probably do another video on that, man. You know, just pricing wise. You know, what I'm saying um, to all you beginners out there that are coming up. You know, what I'm saying that don't know much about how to price your stuff out. Maybe you want to know. You know, what I'm saying. So, my way of doing things is hourly, guys. So I would I would look at an image and if or draw an image or whatever the case is and, and if I, I know how long basically stuff basically how long stuff takes and and I'm I'll charge by the hour guys get your money's worth so that's another thing too I wanted to touch base on but I'll probably make another video about pricing guys you know what I'm saying because that is a big topic and us airbrush artists man we don't want to cut ourselves short so all right guys so i hope you guys are enjoying the video man so we're we're basically uh around half a little over halfway point man so i really appreciate you guys continue watching man and like i always say man i hope you guys are getting something out of this guys because that's what it's all about
All right, guys, that about does it for this one, man. So I appreciate you guys watching the whole video. I hope you guys got something out of it. This is my freehand jack. Um, but anyways, guys, um, so uh, yeah, I used, I used a background stencil that I cut out with my Cameo 3. Um, I told you guys I use stencils. I'm, I'm not against stencils. I like to freehand my image, though, and use stencils for my backgrounds and stuff like that, man. But anyways, I still use stencils, guys, so I'm not going to use nothing nothing heavy on this just a probably a rattle can some clear just to get a little shine on it and that's about it man thanks a lot man for finishing the video and please share with one friend i would really appreciate that much love guys yeah.